Welcome to Keeping In Sync with Microsoft 365 for this week, the 3rd of July. Happy New Financial Year to you. As with every week, just a reminder that certain dates may change and certain settings may be turned on or turned off for you by either Microsoft or your IT. So you may be surprised, you may also be waiting for quite some time for some of these settings. Now, speaking of waiting for certain settings is the new schedule send feature in Outlook on Android allows you to write an email now and send later. Now, if users select the uh, three dots little menu well, while writing an email, they'll now be able to select the option to schedule send. And once a user has scheduled the sending of that email, the email will show up in their drafts folder until it's time to send, just like Outlook on your desktop or Excel on an old Nokia phone if you're Kelly Rowland. So this is rolling out early July to early August. Now, something from um, the Outlook, also on the Outlook mobile, is the feature we've got around the old sections view, um, which is currently in the upper right-hand corner of the search page, is effectively being removed, and you'll only see the feed view going forward. Now, the content that was in the sections can actually be found elsewhere in the Outlook mobile app, such as the people section is accessible from the feed tab. The upcoming section has been integrated into the uh, feed as meeting insights. The received and sent file section and the to-do section can be accessed through the files and to-do apps um, in, uh, in the uh, app vertical in Outlook mobile. Now, much of the content from those sections has been incorporated into the feed, so just use the feed, I guess. Uh, this change is happening now to late July. Now, from a from going from Outlook to Teams is we've got this feature in uh, Microsoft Teams meeting, which is the ability to have collaborative annotations. So this is an increased uh, improvement to the current feature that we've got where you can annotate. Um, whereas now with these collaborative, collaborative annotations, uh, that people who are using the screen sharing will be able to click through the annotations layer and interact with underlying content without stopping the existing annotation session. Now, after a sharer initiates annotations from their present, uh, presenter toolbar, sharers will be able to interact uh, with the background to edit the content by default. And uh, this is rolling out late July to mid-August. Now, soon you'll also be able to uh, easily call speed dial contacts and get back to recent calls on Apple CarPlay uh, with Microsoft Teams after connecting uh, your iPhone to vehicles that support Apple CarPlay. So after tapping the Teams icon and navigating to the Calls tab, which is next to the Meetings tab, you'll then be able to choose uh, to access speed dial contacts or your call history. This is rolling out mid-July to early August. Also in the uh, world of Microsoft Teams, light on for Viva content this week, or are we? Uh, so the Compact Chat List is a feature addition that is coming to Compact Mode. Uh, so what you'll be able to do with compact mode is ha also now have hidden message previews in your chat list. Uh, the new design will enable you to keep messages more private, view more chats in your chat list, and navigate the chat more easily. So this is actually something you'll need to enable from your Microsoft Teams desktop client settings area. Um, and uh, yeah, if you want to be able to, I guess, use binoculars to see the content on your screen, then this feature is for you. So this is rolling out right now. Now onto the Viva content. Wait, nothing from Viva this week. And uh, that's it for keeping in sync with Microsoft 365 this week.